A local woman with a knack for writing is celebrating a new start in the city. She recently won a unique contest, which grants her the keys to a rehabbed house. It's had a lot of work done, and now we're getting to see just how beautiful it is. 7 Action News reporter Mike Wolfolk joins us live with the details. Mike, we hear a big celebration is happening. Absolutely, Glendon Carolyn. We're on Mead Avenue, uh, which is in a neighborhood just north of Hamtramck. And you see this home here behind me. This, of course, the coveted prize in a big contest that not only recognizes great writing, but also honors Detroit uh, as a great place to come and live. Take a look. We've got some before photos of what things look like inside this house a little bit ago. Uh, this is in the raw form. This house is the nonprofit organization Write a House bought this place out of auction, renovated it, and now it looks like this. And folks, what a transformation! This now will become the new home for freelance journalist Liana Agajanian. She will move here uh, from Los Angeles in January, and she says she is excited about making Motown her new home. I think it's amazing. I love the neighborhood it's in. I love the style. I love the porch and the brickwork. I can't wait to get inside. It's a diverse neighborhood. Um, there's Bangladeshi, Polish, black people, white people. And so it felt like a neighborhood where you could come and not feel like a total outsider. Liana certainly will not be an outsider. Taking that first walk through the new home, she seems to like the inside just as much as she liked the outside of it. By the way, you may notice a lot of wine bottles there on the kitchen counter. They are setting up for a party. They will introduce Liana and also allow guests to see the inside of this fabulously rehabbed home. All happening right here tonight. Glenda, Carolyn, great way to get a house, right? Oh, yeah, and it looks beautiful inside. Pretty amazing, huh? Yes, and welcome to Detroit. <laughs> yeah, Happy for sure. Thanks a lot, Mike.